I'm not a drummer, but I often have to help carry the drums. And the reason is, carrying the drums is a full band job. So I think that if you can find a way to avoid bringing the drums, or bringing all the drums at least, it's good to do that. A lot of clubs offer back lines where they either have a house kit that you can use, or they have components that are already there so you don't have to bring as much. So if you can backline, go right ahead and do that. Usually drum backlining means having, um, bringing your own snare, bringing your cymbals, bringing your hardware, and bringing your kick pedal, and sometimes bringing your seat because you don't want a seat that doesn't match your height. Of course you want to travel with cases. Your drums don't belong out in the open. Many drummers do this out of convenience or because they don't feel like buying the cases. But if you're going to be traveling around, make sure that you keep your drums in cases because drums can break and then you're in a lot of trouble. Now unfortunately, drums don't always fit in every car. They don't fit in my car that easily. It requires quite a squeeze. So really, um, if you're traveling with drums, see if you can use house equipment. You don't want to have to carry a giant kick drum if you can avoid it. When you're traveling with drums, it's important to keep a list of the different components you have, either mental or written down, and do a count whenever you're moving the drums, because there's a lot of different pieces, and forgetting even one piece can put you in a lot of trouble. One last thing you can do to help transporting drums is to scale down your kit. What this means is cutting out drum items that you don't use that often. Maybe there is uh, an extra drum like a tom, floor tom that you're not using, you don't need all your cymbals. If you can get away with the less, do that.